Alright, hey y'all, what is up, and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Strange Town. So, this is our last introduction to our Strange Town families. So, today we are going to be introducing the Spectre family who live at 13 Dead End Lane and. Well, it is a dead end lane because these, this woman's crazy. All right, so their little bio says, Who is buried in all of Spectre's garden? Will the mysterious aging outcast leave her fortune to her niece, Ophelia, or, as rumored, to an unnamed heir? All right, so when we jump into the Spectre household, it says all of Spectre wants to retire. Just pick up the phone and call work to start collecting that pension. Alright, so let's go ahead and introduce this family, which, oh my gosh, probably the weirdest and strangest and just most interesting family in Strange Town that we are probably ever going to play, like, ever on this channel. It's just like, wow. So, our main Sims, or only two Sims, I guess you would say, for this family <laughs> is Olive Spectre. So, I mean, look, she looks so young in the face, but she's actually about to die. Like, she's about to kick the bucket, and, um... Uh, so I don't think I'm going to save her. I, I don't know. <laughs> so we might not be seeing too much of Olive, but she does have like this legacy to carry on, um, you know, with either Ophelia or Nervous being her son, which if you have been keeping up with this Strange Town LP, you have already been introduced to Nervous or if you're just familiar with these Sims in general. But anyway, so this is, oh, okay, this is Olive, not Ophelia. <laughs> Sorry, let me get it together. This is Olive Spectre. Like I said, she is an elder. So her bio says, Olive will stop at nothing to get what she wants. She spends her time collecting mushrooms, sharpening sticks, and excavating her yard <laughs> i mean what the freak but just very weird very strange uh just twisted weird uh she is a scorpio um and let's go to her memories which i guess is kind of important so we have all of her toddler learning skills she grew up well met mystery sim Willa grew up well, grew up well, okay, okay, pause before, okay, maybe we should go to her family tree that way, but when we are going through her memories, we are familiar with who is who. So she is the sister of Willow Nigmas, Nigmos, which I'm not really sure how to accurately pronounce Nigma, is it Nigmas, 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 I'm going to say Nigmas, Nigmos, Nigmos. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, she is the sister of Willow, and Willow was married to Creon, and they had Ophelia. So Ophelia is her niece, which back when I used to play The Sims 2, for the longest time I thought, because, I mean, I was just so young, I didn't, like, go into detail to learn about these Sims, I thought it was her granddaughter, but no, it's her niece. And she actually was married to Ichabod Spectre, but her and Ichabod did not have a child. She has a child, which is Nervous Spectre, and it doesn't show, or not Nervous Spectre, Nervous Subject, and it doesn't show who his father is, but we know, you know, through the grapevine, <laughs> that his father is the Grim Reaper. Yeah, talk about freaking twisted, right? Uh, so, her father is Pepani, Muan, Mu Muan, hmm, all these weird names I can't pronounce, and uh, Lor Lorado, is, is her mother okay <laughs> anyways the main sims that we need to worry about in this family tree is nervous and um Ophelia so Ophelia is her niece all right so let's go back to our memories which may make a little bit more sense now so Willow grew up well and she grew up well Danielle died Okay, so Danielle is not in our family tree, so if Danielle died, Danielle must be in her graveyard, which we will go and check that out in a second, but if she has a memory of anybody dying, it means they died on her lot, so I mean, you figure that out. So Danielle died, she grew up well, she got a job, had a very first kiss with Earl E. Earl E 
okay, Earl E. is not Ichabod. That is not her, her husband or whoever that she in her family tree line. Grew up well, got a promotion, fell in love with Earl E., got engaged to Earl E., and got left at the altar, which he might have read her mail. He might have found out she's a freaking psycho. So, you know what, uh, Earl? I mean, I'm, I'm glad you tried to run. But guess what? Earl died. <laughs> Because Earl had to die. Na, 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 na. Okay, if you don't know that song, we can't be friends. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, Earl died. Willow grew up well. Tim Lee died, which, you know, on her lot. Seth died on her lot. Patrick died on her lot. Willow got engaged. Willow got married. Melissa died on her lot. Got a promotion. Got a promotion. L Lorado died. Peponi died. Not really sure. Like, that's her parents. Not really sure if they had died of old age. I'm assuming so. I, I'm hoping to goodness gracious that if she's a murderer, which she freaking is, that she didn't kill her own parents. Um, she got a job, or I'm sorry, got a promotion. Jessica died. Kissed Rigger for the first time. Who is Rigger? Benjamin died. Oh my lord. <laughs> Fell in love with Rigger. Oh my gosh, got a promotion, got engaged to Rigger, got married to Rigger, a rich Sim. Okay, so she got married. She's been married twice, I'm assuming. And he was rich, so is she a gold digger? I don't know, got a promotion. Oh, Rigger died. Oh, she's like the definition of a black widow. She got another promotion. Reached the top of the slacker career. Grew up well. Vicky died on her lot. Kissed you for the first time. Man, this this woman just freaking gets around town. You hear me? Uh, <laughs> Lila died, which Lila, for those of you who don't remember, is the Grunt family's mother, which is, you know, the boy's mom and um, General Buzz Grunt's ex-wife, Lila. She got engaged to Hugh. Got married to Hugh. Wow, so so far she's been married twice. Yeah, this is her second marriage. Um, Lou died on her lot. Hugh died. Oh my gosh, how, so mysterious. All of her husbands keep dying, you know? Did woohoo with Grim Reaper. See, right there. That is our proof that she had a baby with the Grim Reaper. So she did the woohoo with the Grim Reaper. Nut died. Nut died on her lot. Luck died on her lot. She had a nervous. So apparently all those men that she kissed and married to she had no memory of woohooing with him so right there that tells us that nervous the only illogical explanation you know he, he didn't come from aliens or space or anything is that he is the baby daddy of the grim reaper all right so made best friends with ichabod had child taken by a social worker i mean probably they was a little concerned about all these deaths at her house i mean come on Kissed Ichabod for the first time. Fell in love with Ichabod. Got engaged to Ichabod. Got married to Ichabod. Ichabod died. Hmm. Creon died. Willow died. Ophelia joined the family. And Ophelia grew up badly. So, let me break those memories down for you. <sighs> okay, we're going to see her graveyard in just a second. But, the reason why all these Sims died on her lot... This is what the old tale says. She fell in love with the Grim Reaper. She wanted to see him. What happens when a Sim dies, the Grim Reaper comes to get their soul, right? So she would lure these people to her lot, I guess. I don't know, kill them. Just so the Grim would come and she developed this relationship with him, this romance with him, woohooed with him, and had his baby. Freaking weird. <laughs> but anyways, I'm assuming that she didn't kill Willow. And Creon, uh, Willow is her older sister, so if she's this far along as an elder, I do believe that her sister probably died of old age, and they was not in the same household. Um, but she joined the family. Ophelia joined the family, so Ophelia obviously grew up badly because, I mean, <laughs> she's probably a little concerned herself, like, you're gonna leave me with a crazy lady, what? Alright, so her turn-ons is facial hair red hair and her turn off is swimwear it did say in her memories that she reached the top of the slacker career so she is a professional party guest 
<laughs> what? She makes $1,400 um, a day, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure that's not hourly. I think that's, is that a day or hourly? I think it's a day. <laughs> but anyway, she wants to retire, so we're going to have her do that. As far as her skills, she has mechanical, charisma, and creativity skills. Let's check out her relationships. So, she doesn't have really many relationships at all. Probably because everybody she's ever known has, she's killed. <laughs> but she does know Ophelia and Nervous, which she has kind of like a decent relationship with him, you know? Even though child services took them away, she must still be in some kind of communication with him. And she is kind of disliked and dislikes General Buzz Grunt for good reason. She killed his wife. So, yeah. That is Olive. She's interesting. She has the knowledge aspiration, and her wants is to see the ghost of Ichabod, which was her late husband, or one of them, her last husband. She wants to retire. She wants to invite General Buzz over. <laughs> General Buzz, if I were you, I would ignore that phone call. Do not come over because you already know what's going to happen, and that's not happening. That ain't happening, Olive. Get another want, sister. Buy a telescope costing at least $500. Her fears is the death of nervous, sea vermin, and a fire. So, yeah, that is, that's Olive. So, moving on to Ophelia, which is her niece, which we have actually seen quite a bit of Ophelia in some of the other households that we have played. She's interesting. I like her. But she is a teenager and looks like she will be an adult in two days. So she will be aging up very shortly. Um, and let's go to, let's, I guess we can check out her family tree, which I'm pretty sure um, just shows us, yeah, who her mom and dad is, which, you know, not that important. All right, if we go to her memories... All right, we see all of her toddler skills. She learned all of her skills well, grew up well. She met Johnny as a child. Her mom and dad died, and she moved in with Olive. Then she grew up badly from a child into a teenager because, I mean, she was raised by a freaking serial killer. She made best friends with Johnny, went steady with Johnny, had very first kiss with Johnny, and kissed Johnny for the first time. So, her turn-ons is fitness, creativity, and her turn-off is a full face of makeup. Me too. Not a fan of that either. So, her career, she is a public school student, so it looks like she doesn't have a part-time job or anything. She is an A student, so you know, she's doing pretty good in school, despite, you know, kind of being like an orphan. Her relationships... So, obviously, she knows her, her aunt, Olive. She doesn't have a very strong relationship with her. She is best friends with Johnny. Okay, so this is interesting. All right, so the last part when we was playing the Smith family, right, we, we noticed that her and <sighs> Rip was, like, all over each other, like, behind Johnny's back, which was just freaking weird and awkward, and he just acted like he didn't care. I don't know if he's seen it, but, I mean, what? And we do know when we played the Grunt family that he has a crush on, um, he has a crush on Ophelia. So, it's interesting that she is going steady with Johnny, and she is best friends with Johnny, and she's kissed Johnny, but she doesn't have a crush on Johnny. It's kind of like they're just friends, and... That's going to really hurt Johnny, I think. Because it looks like she has a crush on Rip. It looks like she has more of a romantic interest in Rip than Johnny. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think I should do. Like, what route should I take? <laughs> I don't know. She also knows Jenny Smith, Jill Smith, and PT9. So, she knows Johnny's family pretty well. And let's see. What else is kind of important? Um... Her family aspiration. She has a family aspiration, so she wants to invite Johnny over. She wants to gain a cleaning skill point, and she wants to find a job and gain a cooking skill point. Fear, get rejected for a flirt, get sick, and see a ghost. Which I mean, she lives in a cemetery, so good luck with with that. Um, I do want to see. Okay, I was going to check out her skills to see kind of you know what route I want to take when it comes to getting her a job, what her interests are. She has no skills really. She has a little bit of a logic skill. Um, I want to check out her interest. 
So it looks like she has like no interest in crime, no interest in politics. She's interested in health, entertainment, money, environment, culture, fashion, travel, animals. Okay, so I guess we could take that into consideration, even though she has like no interest in work, in sports, school, nothing, none of that. So anyways, yeah, that is the family. And you know what? I always forget to look at this. I have forgotten every single one of these families' little photo albums. Crap, I'm, I'm sucking, I'm sorry. But I remembered for the Spectre family, so here we are with the little family photo album that takes us back on some of the memories. So here it looks like this is Olive Muspin when she got left at the altar by her first fiance. This must be her on one of her honeymoons. Not really sure which husband this is. Here she is getting married again. And here is Ophelia taking a nap. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on here. They had a party? They hanging out? I don't know. But yeah, that's their little memory photo album book. So, let's take a tour of their house. So, this is their house. And obviously, she does not even try to hide the cemetery. She just has it right out there for everybody to see. But it's a decent, you know, house. It's just it's interesting. Um, it's kind of like cute, I mean, I guess. Uh, kind of looks like a, a funeral home, if you ask me. We have her lovely, lovely graveyard out here where she sits and just, just what? I don't know. Talks to them, like looks at all of her, her accomplishments. I don't know. It's weird. So, yeah, here is all of the sim that was in her memories that ended up, you know, dying. Which is great. I mean, just wonderful. There's Lila Grunt. It's so sad. Um, there's Willow, which is her sister. Um, I don't know. Did she kill them? Why would they be on her lot if she didn't? I don't know, y'all. What do you think? Do you think she killed her sister and her brother-in-law? I mean, it's possible. So, if we go inside of their house, it enters into the dining area right here. So, the house kind of reminds me of, like, a castle. It's very just dark and weird, strange. Not a huge fan of it. And hold up a second. This is, this is weird. Where's the... Huh? Oh... I'm so confused. How did they get through the wall? What? Like, what? Okay, hold up. I need to test this. I don't know what is happening. Let's have her go here. Can you walk through the wall? Okay, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just what it looks like because it's kind of a glitch. It's like an, um, an archway like on this side you can see the archway and then i guess it's like covered up by a curtain but you know what we're just gonna play with the walls like this and we're just gonna pretend we're gonna pretend that it's not weird there's not a glitch but anyways yeah there's the dining room here is their kitchen like this house you know it does have a few windows it has three windows right here that's literally it so this is a very dark house and then we have this room right here which is kind of strange not really sure what the point of that room is. Here's the bathroom. And then this must be Olive's bedroom. And then this way we have the living room. Which just has a computer. And a couch and bookshelf. With another bathroom right here. And then this must be Ophelia's bedroom. Which has like her childhood toys and whatnot here. But yeah, so that is their house. And that is the Spectre family. Alright, so this is mostly just introductions that we do for this first little part, but I do want to like accomplish what the game kind of signals us to start or accomplish, if that makes sense. So we're going to have her come over here and we're going to call work and we're going to retire. Okay, so we're going to retire from job and looks like it is starting to rain, which is super eerie. Would you like to retire? Yes. Actually, it's starting to hail. Alright, so Olive has retired. Olive will be receiving a pension of 300 daily well earned. Which, you know, shoot, she actually had a really good salary, which was like 1200 I mean, for it being the slacker career, that's a lot of money. So for her to end up with $300 a day, it's 
that's awful. That's not good. Okay, so now she wants to be, like, a, what, an overachiever and get a job in the journalism career, but like, she's about to die, so we're not going to do that. She wants to see the ghost of Ichabod. All right, so you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have her sit here and just kind of think about her retirement and kind of reflect on that. And then once it gets late, I don't know how late it gets when the ghosts start to come out. But you know what? Let's have her come sit outside. You know, she tries not to be too creepy <laughs> around Ophelia, but Ophelia seems to be taking her uh, a nap, or actually, like, she just went to bed early. You know, she did have an eventful day the day before, kissing all over Rip in front of Johnny, her boyfriend, but anyways, so her aspiration meter is all the way up since she did retire, but yeah, so she's making her way out here, which is, I mean, this is so creepy, y'all. I mean, freaking creepy. She's a freak. So, I'm having her mourn his his death, which I don't really think she regrets killing him. I mean, obviously, she had one goal and one goal only, and that was to see the Grim Reaper. She's wanting to go to sleep, but I really want to see his ghost, um, which, I mean, I don't think that we can, like, wake his ghost up. So, I guess we'll just have her go ahead and come inside and go to sleep. And I'm going to speed through and see if the ghosts come out to, like, haunt us or something. So, if I happen to see Ichabod floating around, I'm going to have her wake up and, uh, come and, like, socialize with him, I guess. I mean, can't get much weirder than it's already got. I mean, this is Strange Town, so we're going to be friends with ghosts and have alien babies and all kinds of fun stuff here in this series. So, just bear with me. Don't be surprised when just the unthinkable happens. Alright, so update. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. I haven't seen any ghosts come out. So, um, I guess, I don't know why they're not coming out. But, maybe just, they're not feeling it. They're being a little shy. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. They're both awake now and they're just chatting and socializing. But yeah, this was the last of our family introduction. So next part of Strange Town, we're going to hop right back into the Beaker family, which was our first family we introduced. And we're going to kind of like go in a circular motion and visit all the families similar or actually not similar, just like we do with our Pleasant View families. So, yeah, I'm really excited about Strange Town. These families are really weird. They're really creepy. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun telling their stories. So, with that being said, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Love you guys. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Didn't I wait for you?